Welcome back everybody, more Orcs Must Die here on Additional Ponds Games. We're continuing our series, our playthrough, through all the maps, story mode here in Orcs Must Die, and we've been granted the Swinging Mace. If the Ice Amulet is my favorite amulet, favorite weapon, the Swinging Mace is my favorite trap. I love it, it's absolutely devastating. Where am I now? Ah, the library, where the Order stores 10,000 years of the collected wisdom of our most brilliant minds. Nope. Nothing useful here. Unfortunately, I get the swinging mace on one of my least favorite levels. This is the library. So you can see we've got our rifts to the left and the right. We've got our first, uh, you know, a lot of lava for a library. I'll let you think about it. Not necessarily the best thing to have a bunk around a bunch of books. Um, but we've got our rifts to the left and right, our doors to the north and the south. And we've got some low-hanging areas here that are just wide enough for us to use a swinging mace on. But it will require a little bit of coordination, and we're introduced to the fire ogre. Hard to kill, immune to fire, and like most ogres, all ogres, most ogres actually, they count for five rift points. So again, we're going to bring the ice amulet, we're going to bring the tar trap, those are a necessity. Um, spike traps, because we won't be using barricades. Um, Scorchers, four traps. We'll see. Um, probably wall blades, maybe arrow wall. I'm not sure. Let's uh, let's take a look here at the map. So this is far enough. There's enough of a distance between the two that I probably yeah. Along with those areas as well, I think we're gonna go with the uh, the arrow walls. Do that. Swinging mace and archers will round out our defenses. So what we're going to do here is we're going to put tar right uh, hmm. I'm not sure actually I'm here so clever. let's try that again um, so tar there and then we're going to place archers here in the middle boom there actually let's let's get over a little bit to the sides like that well, let's move you guys there and right there and spikes maybe tar tar yeah let's do that we'll get another that's right we're gonna get another level of tar here that way we can use air walls on the left and right those little pillar areas will also have the uh boiling the uh, lava pots on the left and right that we can activate we have orcs that are coming through there and basically what we're going to try and do again is we're going to automate this side uh, with lots of traps. And then once the south gate opens, we'll be there. Focusing most of our attention on the south gate. Archers in the middle means that we'll have some firepower coming out. And it also means that um, archers, if anything gets by on the south gate, the archers can turn around and they'll start firing on those guys as well. So again, we're going to be setting up this side to be automated as possible. As on as possible. For now, not too difficult. Between Tar and Archers and our Ice Amulet, we're pretty good. Taking off orbs left and right. Let's use that lava. There's nobody there. <laughs> But you can see how painful it would be if there wasn't one there. Alright, so now we turn around. Let's, uh... Hello, ladies. Yeah. Let's begin. Death Augmenter. Decisive. Start getting more I like money her. from our traps. Our guardians. Okay. So you can see on the mini-map, we've got our southern... Southern door is opening up. So that means that we need to... But we're gonna have to turn around here. Um, and one big dot coming through means it's a fraud, fire ogre. Thankfully, he's very weak to ice, and that allows us to take him out pretty quickly. Not a problem. Go, got our go break. That means finally we get our swinging mace. Put some tar down here and 
Swinging Mace will basically destroy anything that comes. Through. Get some tar on this Sometimes side. Sometimes I almost feel bad for the orcs, except not really. Help us as we uh, deal with archers. Sometimes Sorry, she... orcs. So yeah, scary voice in my head. Still scared. If I ignore her, go away. All right, time for us to turn around. Start taking care of these orcs. And uh oh. And unfortunately, it looks like a kobold gets through. So that's why I hate kobolds. Um, even with a swinging mace, and tons of tar, and four archers, somehow it gets through. Um, I'm just gonna have to play through this level again. But for now, we'll set up some brimstone to help reduce kobold. Kobold population. So, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to play this level again. Probably do that off screen just to get the last, get the uh, get the skull that we missed. Um, probably means again, maybe revamping what I'm doing or just uh, concentrating a little bit more fully on the kobolds. So. Take out these guys. Headshots. And ice for our crossbow buddies. Good night, you're annoying. Alright. So our archers turn around to help us a little bit. Alright, now we can. Scorchers. A little bit of tar. And another archer here. Help us on that side. So, the uh, Scorchers won't do anything against Fire Ogres that come through, but that's okay. That's what we've got the Ice Amulet for. Not worried about Fire Ogres. Actually, <laughs> in the grand scheme of things, Fire Ogres are actually relatively easy to take care of. Again, because the Ice Amulet does extra damage to them, freezes them in place, and allows us to do headshots pretty quickly. Pretty simply. The scorchers are just there to take out these masses of orcs. Yes. Yes, it is. Get another archer because I like things to be nice, neat, even. We will think it because I like nice, neat, and even. Brimstone. Brimstone. And brimstone. Um, what else can we do here? We could do spikes. Spikes there. And arrow. Some new and decorations. We'll do one arrow wall there. We'll do one arrow wall here. Set it and forget it. Once we get a little bit more money, we can put arrow walls on both sides. But, all right. Do headshots to weaken him. Arrows help as well. And then. Oh, there we go. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the ice amulet. Come back over to help out our archer friends. Sweet. And that was not too bad, actually. A couple scorchers. Another arrow wall. Headshot, headshot, and headshot. And see now, this side is basically, let's be real, it's pretty much impenetrable. Um, why can I not place a Scorcher there? Nope, that's not correct. We'll have to fix that. I think that our Archer buddy over there is blocking our ability to place a Floor Trap. And that's a problem. Nothing. You're going by. There we go. And now you can come back. Alright. 
Somewhere here. I almost feel bad for the air wall there. Except Just a little really. extra insurance in case I have my back turned. Or if something gets a little hairy back here. Stop the push out of Another go break. We've got our last level coming up here. We'll do that and that. Brimstone. Time traps. And piercing traps. Isn't that all? There we are. So that is the library. Last level. Unfortunately, again, we had a kobold get through, which means gonna have to do it over. Um, sometimes your archers. Sometimes Elven Archers are the best guardians you can ever hope for. But other times they are completely useless. But. There we go. So, a little bit of back and forth. Nothing that I say, I'm like, can't take care of though. Alright. A little ice and like help over here. Come back over this way. And that's the four skull dance. Four skull dance because we had a kobold get through. We don't have a perfect score on our rift points. So, 76,200. We were well under part time, so we didn't have to worry about that. <sighs> kobold, though. Kobold. Um. Combat kills to trap minion kills, not the greatest ratio, but that's because we've got two different areas, two different lanes that we have to cover. So, Clockwork Mace, we're going to go ahead and upgrade that right away because it becomes a very, very useful trap. So we'll be making good use of it. Um, might spend the other 12 scrolls here in a little bit off screen, but we'll see about that. So that's the library. I'm going to go ahead and do it again to get that other scroll. But uh, hit like and subscribe if you want some more. Check out some of the other series going on the channel. And uh, leave a comment below if you have any tips, any suggestions, anything like that. So thanks again for tuning in, and we'll see you next time here on Additional Pollens Games.